वंस अपॉन ए टाइम ए किंग ऑर्गेनाइज एन इवेंट इन हिस किंगडम इन विच आर्टिस्ट फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द कंट्री वॉज कॉल्ड टू शो द स्किल इन दोज आर्टिस्ट ए मैजिशियन ऑल्सो केम टू शो हि स्किल बट बिफोर द टर्न ऑफ द मैजिशियन मैनी अदर मैजिशियंस केम एंड शोड देयर मैजिक्स नाउ द मैजिशियन गॉट ए लिटिल कन्फ्यूज एज टू वट काइंड ऑफ मैजिक he should show to the king then he decided that he will show something different so that the king and everyone else would be surprised when his turn came he made the king's crown disappear with his magic as soon as he disappeared king's crown all the people started laughing but the king considered it as an insult to him the king felt ashamed in front of the people without the crown he got furious and ordered the magician to be arrested and sentenced to death on the seventh day as soon as the magician's wife heard this news she came to see her husband in jail and started weeping but the magician was very optimistic he consoled his wife and said why are you crying there are still 6 days left spend these 6 days happily because anything can happen in these 6 days the wife felt that her husband has gone mad at the news of his death she would come every day and every day magician would tell her not to panic and be happy eventually the day of the death penalty came the magician became sad and started crying when the king asked him the reason for his crying the magician said Your majesty I am not afraid of death because after all one day everyone has to die but I am crying because if I die then there will be a huge loss I have been learning an art from last few years I was teaching my horse to fly for the last 2 years and in the next one year my horse would have learned to fly but now I am going to die and with my death that art will also end and my horse will not be able to learn to fly that's why I am crying hearing about the flying horse the king thought if I have a flying horse I will fly on the horse no one can defeat me in war I will become famous all over the world the king started to be tempted The king immediately said to the magician I can give you one more year but you will have to give that flying horse to me The magician replied Sure sir it will be my pleasure to give that flying horse to you The king said if that horse could fly then I will free you and give you a reward too but if that horse could not fly then I will hang you to death the magician agreed and happily returned home there was an atmosphere of mourning in the magician's house and everyone was thinking that by now the magician must have been died but everyone was surprised to see the magician alive the magician told the whole thing to his family his family was very happy at first but later his wife became sad because she knew that there is no such horse which can fly and when after one year the king will come to know this he will hang the magician to death but the magician explained to his wife and said that a year is a very long time and we do not know what is going to happen in this one year therefore let us not worry about future and enjoy the moment and it happened that after 6 months the king died suddenly and after 3 months from the king's death the horse died now neither the king was alive nor the horse and the magician was completely free now now there are two life lessons we can learn from this story the first lesson is that every problem has its solution only we have to find it no matter how big a problem is do not panic 
never give up and try till the last breath problems will continue in life but worrying about those problems will do nothing and the second lesson is that never worry about your future because future is uncertain you never know what is going to happen in the next moment then why not to think positive about our future and be happy rather than thinking negative about our future and be unhappy sometimes problems get solved on its own during the course of time and sometimes problems get solved by our efforts but the important thing is to be optimistic about our future and enjoy the present moment